Hey there everyone. In today's video, we'll be looking at two ways by which you can remove the copyright claim that has been put on your uh, YouTube video that you had created. In the first method, we will remove the copyright claim by replacing the copyrighted music with free music provided by YouTube. Let's begin by opening your YouTube channel. Now click on the YouTube Studio button that will take you to the YouTube Studio where you can manage all your videos. Next click on the videos menu item on side of the screen which will take you to the page where you will find all your videos. Under the restrictions column you will be able to see the copyright claim against your video. Click on see details button now. The copyright status page shows details regarding the copyright claim. You can see that this video with copyright claim is not affected and it is still public. However, any revenue you could potentially get from ads will be paid to the copyright owner. Now click on the select action button for the copyright claim that you want to fix and then select the replace song option. This is the editor where you are allowed to change the copyrighted music with the free music from YouTube. So as you see here, you have a big collection of songs that's freely provided by YouTube and you could select any one of this to replace the existing music in your video. You can also look at the exact start and end time in the videos where YouTube has detected that there is a copyright violation. You can now select the music of your choice through various options and filters. So for example, you could select the different mood and the different genre. And from this, you could uh, filter out the kind of songs that is of uh, interest for you. And uh, once you go through this, you can select a particular song, play it and see if you really like it. And you could also try to match it with the video and see if it is uh, nice for you and if it fits for your video. And once you're convinced that this particular song is the right fix or the option for you, click on add to video. This will add the track into the video. And now you have the option to actually go ahead and start adjusting the start time and end time of this particular music within your video. So once you do this adjustment, what YouTube does is it replaces this part of the section of the video with the new music that you have actually added from the list. And uh, this will overwrite the copyright claim or the part of the video that is being claimed by the copyright owner uh, will be replaced with the music that you have actually chosen. The video actually continues to remain the same but only the music part of it is going to get replaced. And this is what YouTube uh, editor allows us to do successfully to remove the YouTube copyright claims. You also have the option to remove the track if you do not like it and add something else. Now it's time to check if the new music has completely replaced the old copyrighted music. So just allow the video to play. Try to make sure that uh, no part of the copyrighted music uh, is still visible. So it's better to just let it play and hear through the entire song. This will guarantee that no more claims will be raised in this part of the music in the future. There's a very important point that we need to remember. The YouTube studio currently does not allow us to edit more than one track of music at a time. So which means that if you have two copy copyright claims or violations in your uh, video, you will be able to fix only one of them using this uh, replace music option. And the other copyright claim that is existing has to be trimmed out. This seems to be a current limitation with YouTube uh, editor and studio. Hopefully YouTube will provide a feature in the future where we'll be able to edit multiple violations within a single video. Until that feature is available, you can use the method 2 in this video to remove multiple copyright claims within a single video. Congratulations! With this, the editing process is complete. All you now have to do is click on save changes. This will tell you that all the same changes will be updated by YouTube. And until that happens, uh, you will continue to see the older video. 
which means that uh, YouTube takes a bit of time to process your video and upload the latest one until then users still can access your current video. As you see here the copyright claim is still shown. This is because we have to wait for around one hour for the changes to take effect. This is how we replace copyrighted music with free music in YouTube studio. In the second method, we will be completely trimming out the part of the video that contains the copyright claim. So first let's start by going to youtube.com. So coming to the home page, uh, first click on your account page and here uh, you can click on YouTube studio. So this is the new way to manage all of your uh, YouTube videos. Now here uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, have a look at uh, the video section. So click on the video section. So as you see here under the restrictions uh, there is information regarding copyright claim. So which means that there seems to be some kind of a copyright claim in something that I have done in this video. So when you hover the mouse over this particular option you can see the actual uh, pop-up. Click on see details. So this window will now explain to you what exactly is the uh, copyright claim. So as you see here, there is a song. The content that has been used is Twist by Neeraj Sridhar. It's uh, audio type and uh, YouTube is clever enough to show us exactly what is the start point, 22 seconds and end point, around 42 seconds. And during this uh, period, this song is playing and uh, the impact of this is that uh, our video cannot be monetized. So instead what YouTube does is it takes the ad revenue, uh, if at all ads are placed in this uh, video and it pays it to the copyright owner and uh, the owner of the copyright happens to be Eros Music. So uh, as you see here uh, there is no impact on the channel as such so you will not get in any channel strikes. Uh, the visibility is still public so all your vis uh, video is going to be still public. So uh, monetization, of course, this video or this channel is not yet monetized, but uh, if uh, in case uh, you are monetized, uh, then you will have this particular impact, uh, wherein uh, the copyright owner will be paid all the revenue from the ads and you will not get paid for it. So if needed, you can just click on this and then uh, play it just to understand what is going on. So now what we'll do is uh, we'll select the action. So there are three options. So in the previous method, we already saw about uh, replacing the song. So now we'll uh, look at how to trim out this segment. So basically we can remove this part of the video completely to avoid any kind of uh, copyright uh, problems. Uh, you can see that there is a warning saying that you need to double check your video before continuing. Uh, it's going to remove all the things and also the info cards, the ads, uh, everything that you have put within this particular uh, uh, period of time is going to get removed. So if you press continue, uh, it's going to ask you for the final uh, confirmation whether you want to do it this way. Uh, in case you do press trim, it's going to end up uh, clipping the entire video itself. So rather uh, I would suggest a slightly different uh, approach. So let's hit cancel. Uh, let's make a note of uh, this. So what's the time? The start time is... Uh, let's open it up and then see. So the start time is 22 and end time is uh, 43. So let's make a note of this. Start time 22 seconds and time is 43 seconds. So let's close this and now let us go to the video. Let us select the video and uh, under this particular video that is selected you can click on editor. So this is the video editor module of uh, YouTube studio. As you see here uh, this is the entire track that's available for your video and this is the cursor. So as we noted earlier, the start time is 22, end time is 43. So this process of trimming the video is going to be a little bit confusing as per the current UI. So uh, not sure why YouTube designed it this way. It's not really intuitive, but still please play, uh, pay a little closer attention here. 
to really understand how to do it. So first, let's move the cursor to 22 seconds. So this is a far more accurate way. So as you see here, uh, YouTube has actually detected that the copyright uh, claim is starting here. But actually, as per the video, this has started uh, quite a few frames before itself. So had we let YouTube to do the trimming itself, it must have uh, done it wrongly. So let me choose just before the video starts. So let's say somewhere here. So this is the start time. So once this is done, press trim. So this is going to prompt this other dialog. So here what we need to do is click on split button. So this is going to add this additional split into the video. So you have now two sections. So next I would recommend the end time is uh, 43 seconds. So let us try moving the cursor to 43. To be accurate, let's type it in here. It's much more accurate than moving it manually. Yeah, if you need, you can also zoom in and then scroll left or right. So now that your uh, cursor is now placed at 43, let's go ahead and split it again. And now the important part. So move your cursor on top of the blue line and then click and then drag this to 43 seconds so it automatically snaps at that point of time so once this is done we can now hit preview so now let's uh, move the cursor slowly and then look at it so as you see the frames are going on so somewhere here okay so this was the earlier problem so we had entered it as 22 so let me move it back slightly yeah this was the frame where we wanted to set it so let's edit the trim and as you see there is a slight gap uh, zoom in slightly to get better clarity and then let's pull this little backwards so now it is no longer uh, 22 but rather 20 seconds so now let's do the preview again so as you see here you move through it the animations play through and it starts and it jumps over this black part of it so as you see this much part of the video is clipped out and then you continue from here and uh, that's pretty much it so this is how we actually do the trimming so once this is done we just have to go ahead and then say save so it's going to give you a warning saying that it's going to take quite a few hours uh, that's because YouTube is going to do the pre-processing and then it's going to upload it when SD, HD and any other high resolutions you might have. And until then, uh, we don't have to uh, worry. Uh, we just have to hit save and then wait for it until then all of the older videos continues to stay online. And once all the corrections are done, YouTube automatically replaces it with the latest edit. So let's go ahead and save. So it's going to save it and it says your video is being processed. Please check back later. And one thing to remember is that uh, now that your video has been edited, you no longer have access to the video editor till this processing is complete. So you can still go ahead and uh, edit some of the other uh, informations and you will still see this uh, copyright claim details for this uh, time slot. Uh, but this will get revisited and then cleared so this copyright claim will go away after a few hours uh, when this video has been processed and uploaded by youtube itself so as you see here it's been an hour and a half and uh, you can see that youtube has now uploaded uh, the latest video with all the fixes in both sd and hd and it's uh, now publicly available over the internet to the rest of the community and as you see here, uh, we no longer see the copyright claim mentioned and everything looks clean and neat. 
So that's pretty much it. Your video is now free of copyright claims and if at all you have any ads or any revenues coming to this video, you will get a share of it if your channel is monetized. So thanks a lot for logging in. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to this channel. So this should help us uh, create more such useful tips and tricks and keep you engaged in the future. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.